Blacksmithing is a vehicle for freedom and empowerment. It allows people to pick up some pieces of junk and make what they need. Man just has to have a little vision and a little skill and he can make whatever he needs. All risk takers can't deny that Eustace Conway has filled our childhood full of insane adventures and memories. From living on the deadliest mountain to surviving a day without food, Conway has entertained us in the most unbelievable ways. And yes, he was the one who astonished viewers with his ecological prowess, affinity for the natural world, and outsized personality. However, rumors have recently floated regarding what happened to this legendary personality. As some said, he escaped towards the mountainside, never to be found anymore. Others think he was in an unfortunate incident, or lost to the threats of the surroundings which which he's so in touch. Well, scratching your head to where he's gone. So, if you want to know the real reason behind what really happened to Eustace Conway from Mountain Men, then sit back and relax, as we bet you might be surprised by what we found out. The truth could be shocking, but one thing is for sure, you're not going to skip this story. But before we reveal the real reason behind this shocking news, let's first find out where he comes from and how he got here. Since we last spoke, you've really been working, ain't oh you? Oh my gosh, I've been selling hogs, cutting trees for people, milling lumber, selling lumber. Here's what I got to show for it. I got the deposit here. So. Wow. Well, thank you, man. You're a man of you are. Yeah, buddy. So, Eustace Conway was born in South Carolina in 1961 and grew up in a home with a family of six. He developed a fascination with nature from a young age. Eustace was a lively young boy who loved exploring surrounding fields and woods while learning abilities that ultimately shaped his life. Eustace left high school at the age of 17 to live in a teepee in the woods, where he made the decision to live in peace with the natural world. He soon picked up the skills needed to light a fire, set up a place of refuge, and go out hunting and fishing for a living. Eustace was determined to become self-sufficient and learned everything he needed about wilderness living from his dedication and love of the natural world. Eustace's credibility improved as he mastered his skill set and people around him began to refer to him as a living legend. He received queries from people seeking guidance on anything ranging from shooting and trapping to property construction. The media industry ultimately became interested in Eustace's confidence and knowledge and he appeared in several television and documentary series shows. But Eustace's fascination with the natural world grew more intense as he grew older. He learned how to live off the earth while working on farms throughout his teenage years. However, he didn't make something of himself that could change the rhythm of his life until he got into his early 20s. He gained wide recognition after appearing in the New York Times article in 1987. Now, Eustace was a local hero, but he had superior ambitions. He wanted to fulfill his superior aspirations. So, in the name of the first step to achieving his dreams, he constructed his own wilderness academy, Turtle Island Preserve, where he taught other people the expertise and traits that made his whole life perfect. The academy, situated in the mountains of the Blue Ridge region of North Carolina on a 1,000-acre plot of property, has grown into a gathering place for people curious about ecologically friendly living, the natural world, and custom skills. Eustace's achievements, however, weren't without bumps in the road. After a conflict with a local authority over land use rules in 1998, he was compelled to shut down his academy. The case remained lagging for a long time, but in the end the matter reached the Supreme Court where he partially succeeded after he submitted a lawsuit against the government. Despite this adversity, Eustace kept up his passion for wilderness and sustainable living. After gaining popularity over the years, he became a promoter of independent living and protecting the environment. Yes, we can't deny that Eustace Conway is a mysterious and accomplished outdoorsman who has won millions of fans with his unexpected lifestyle and extraordinary survival abilities in the most hit show, Mountain Men. But what happened to Eustace Conway during the course of the show? What made him decide to leave the show? Well, as rumors spread, some assumed that he'd gotten tired of the attention and had retired to his woods property in North Carolina. At the same time, other people thought that something more malicious had occurred. To find that out, 
First, we have to know how he spent his time on the show with colleagues and what incident led him to wish to leave the show soon. So, Preston Roberts and Houston Conway were spending another regular day on the challenging terrain of the Blue Ridge Mountains for another episode of Mountain Men. They had set out on a short mission to deliver some timber boards, but they had no idea their day would take a disastrous turn. As they drove up a steep slope, they suddenly came to know of a problem beneath the truck. They swiftly pulled along to the path's edge and went down to tackle the problem. However, fate had planned something else for them. The vehicles started to slip down the dirt route in a matter of moments, and the two found themselves helpless to stop it. Fear, worry and despair were all visible on Eustace's face. They stood powerless as their beloved vehicle was destroyed. As the truck drove out from view, the sound of the cylinders flipping off on the vehicle's backside boomed across the mountains. The two felt utterly powerless at the time and realized there was nothing they could do to change the course of fate. As the remains of the accident dissipated, the gravity of what had just occurred became clear. The truck seemed like a total collapse, and it was evident that the show's episode had not ended well. Another rumor is that Eustace's decision to leave the show was caused by losing his loving partner. Preston Roberts, who was a patient fighting cancer, died when an incurable cancer was identified in his liver. It was a sad setback for Eustace, who lost his beloved partner. The loss and suffering were too much to take, which may have contributed to Eustace's desire to leave the show. The possibility that beloved character Eustace Conway would retire from television shocked fans of the show. His extraordinary outdoor talents and lovable demeanor maintained viewers' interest for years, so all the fans were astonished and upset when it was revealed that he would quit the show. During an interview, Eustace Conway was questioned about his future motives and if he would stay on the show. He gave an unsure reply, indicating that he might leave the series and retire. Fans were shocked by the statement, and many questioned whether the show could ever remain precisely the same after him. However, just as supporters were preparing to accept the idea of Eustace's departure, an unexpected twist occurred. The cast list for the upcoming Mountain Men season was announced and Eustace's name was added. The news circulated like a blaze and fans were overjoyed to learn that their favorite character would return for another season. And now, once again, Conway's net worth has astonished everyone, as one question that everyone is thinking about is how Conway came to get such enormous wealth. Did he earn a million dollars just by protecting nature, or has the show Mountain Men made him a millionaire? So, one thing you're not familiar with is that Conway has established an academy for the environment that has grown to be a haven for individuals of all ages interested in learning about all aspects of the natural world. Additionally, he's expanded his message thanks to his profile on social media where he has over 49,000 followers. Yes, you heard it right, Eustace Conway is a guy who's discovered his heaven, a thousand acre woodland wonderland that is becoming more valuable by the hour. He wouldn't sell it even if you gave him an enormous $20 million, which is 10 times that amount. More than simply a piece of property, Turtle Island serves as Eustace's residence, haven, point of connection to the natural world and basis for his mode of living. Eustace has earned a track record as a man who excels even the most challenging circumstances. But what is Eustace Conway doing in the year 2023? Well, he's still quite active and making headlines in the outdoor adventure and education industries. Eustace developed the Turtle Island Preserve in the 1980s, and one of his most recent projects was developing an innovative learning program there. The new Wilderness University program aims to provide students with practical training in environmentally friendly living, outdoor survival, and traditional skills. Recently, he was asked to speak at a significant ecological conference in Europe. There, he discussed his ideas for a world where people coexist with nature rather than destroying it to further their interests. His speech received a favorable response, and he has subsequently had more speaking invitations for comparable occasions. The life story of Eustace represents a combination of victory and adversity. He has faced several challenges, including legal conflicts involving local authorities who wanted to shut down his academy. 
He continued to exist still because of his uncompromising adherence to his beliefs and his abiding passion for nature. Today, Eustace is regarded as one of the top authorities on traditional ways of life, and his Turtle Island Preserve stands as an example of environmentally responsible living. His experience exemplifies the strength of achieving one's goals no matter how strange they may seem.